Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and once again it is time for a squat and deadlift day. But a quick reminder for those of you who watch these videos, please remember to click like down below. Be greatly appreciated. If you're watching on Facebook, please give stars. Um, for my squatting, because my squatting has been such a mess as far as getting a uh, good bar position and bar paths again, I decided to go back to square one and do what I just did for my bench press. And what's that? Pause, pause, pause. Okay, so I'm going to work on getting into the lowest setting I can. Keep trying to adjust these stances a little bit so I can get a little deeper than I'm doing there. And I'm just going to do relatively heavy singles on a pause squat. Um, I'm going to practice doing those pauses. Um, I do think I need to get my stance just a hair wider there. I think I need to get it just a little bit wider. Uh, particularly based on what I see on my belt squats. And I'm going to do a bunch of extensions with bands to build the quad. So I'm going to use the belt squats to continue to get good at the pausing. And then we'll just get our, our metabolic fatigue uh, and pump in the quads from extensions at the end. My quads are going to have to be a high priority. My posterior chain is strong. My deadlifts are good. You know, as displayed here, day after day after day, I come in and pull at least 585. 585 is my baseline. I pull it at least twice a week. Um, you guys have seen me some of the days go 600 plus. Hey, that's just my normal. All right, that's an elite deadlift. I want to be very clear. For my class, that is elite. I do it at least twice a week. We're good. I need to quit worrying about the deadlift and just let it run and do the supplemental work that I know works. We've got to get that squat fixed and get the bench up to elite. Okay, so... Here's what I'm doing with this. For the knee health, um, I don't want to just rep these out. I'm going to get plenty of pump and fatigue. Plenty of pump and fatigue off those uh, band extensions. And I'm going to add more and more volume to those, I think, over time. All right, that's going to translate over time into stronger tendons, uh, stronger quads overall. I need to have the belt squat carry over to that pause in the deep position. So again, we're going to work with you know, fives and sixes, and I'm going to just get progressively stronger at practicing those pauses. Okay, again, that's going to translate into the quad and adductor development I need out of the bottom of a squat. We'll get carryover, and then we'll continue to build them with the other stuff. Also, if I'm going to try to do some wide stances and go back to that, which we know has the most potential, again, I need the hypertrophy work to, to go there. And normally I don't recommend we do a bunch of heavy fives with doing, doing singles like this. In this case, it's just easier on the knees. Hey, easier on the knees. I need those knees to stay healthy. If we're going to blow the quads back up. So I think that's the way to go. We'll just go sheer tension, having to hold, you know, pretty heavy tension for some pauses at the bottom. I will practice getting those pauses more on all of those sets. Uh, then I just superset those with my glute ham raises. Glute ham raises reverse hyper. Those are my go-to for building my deadlift. Um, I have other stuff that's always helped. Um, I don't think I'm going to do the rows on this day. Look, if I need more upper back rear delt, I'm just going to do band stuff. And I did a bunch of band pull-aparts even today between the other stuff. I ended up doing about four total sets. Um, I'll do them on upper body days. I'll just work them in through the week. That'll help with my shoulder health. That'll keep those rear delts and everything growing. Uh, so that I can get away with just progressing on those rows on my upper body days, right? We just need to get stronger at the rows. And that will, of course, build everything I need for the deadlift carry over the grip. Um, you know, so I've always kind of gone back and forth there between how much back work I need on my lower days. And quite frankly, my back is a strong point. I just need to progressively overload it on the number of sets I'm doing. Slowly over time, I think it'll be fine. And again, the bands will handle the rear delts, uh, making sure they get sufficient volume. And it'll help with my shoulder health. So I'm, I'm not going to worry that much about all these deadlift accessories. These two work really well as long as I'm doing rows or pull-ups with it. Uh, these movements do well. I'm not saying glute bridges and other stuff don't carry over really well for me. They do. These are easier to recover from. And then I can put a lot more focus into the quads, into the pause squats, all that stuff. But yeah, so I'm going to have to just pause, pause, pause. And I think, I think that's going to work. Uh, again, I've still got to keep my shoulders to where I can get into that position, but I can't do a lot of sets. All right, my shoulders 
do not like it. Um, but I'm hoping the rear delt work will help. Avoiding all overhead stuff seems to have helped the most. All right, that means no pull-ups, no overhead press. Benching and rowing are fine. Band work should continue to help. I think the band work probably does uh, a lot for me. And I don't like to do it just because of the, eh, you know, it gets boring, the nuance of it. Um, but it really kind of needs to be done. Just like I'm doing bands for the tricep, we'll do bands for the quads. I need to do the rear delt stuff for my shoulders. So, you know, these things are all going to get band work. So here we are just pumping out high reps, pretty much close to failure uh, with these. And I did two sets today instead of one, you know, just superseted them between my reverse hyper so that it didn't add any significant time because I'm going to need to rest anyways. So I just did them back and forth because this is, you know, the minute or so I would have rested anyways. It's, it's spent doing uh, the extensions. So it's actually all the supplemental work goes pretty quick. So what, what are we doing? We're going to do wide stanced pause belt squats. And again, that belt squat tells me how deep I can get. So I see my foot position there. I need to replicate that on the barbell, which also means I'm going to have to lean forward more. I still keep my torso too upright for a proper wide stance uh, lower bar squat. Okay. Now let me push those hips back, but the pausing, practicing the pausing will ensure that I'm hitting depth all the time. I'm just going to get used to it and get used to being explosive out of that position. I mean, I've done a pause squat with over 500 pounds before on camera. We can get back to that. All right. But here again, just doing my reverse hypers and getting further up on there. I'm not even trying to making sure that um, I'm actually bending my arms, pull myself further up instead of hanging. Uh, this is my arm length, the only way I can get on there correctly. So I need to get further up. Um, that'll change, that changes the tension curve a bit. Definitely makes it more difficult up at the top where the glutes are contracting. Uh, changes the, the swing of it. So uh, again, those will continue to help uh, my deadlift. And even then the quads will help too because on my deadlifting, when I take that slightly wider stance, it's a little harder to pop it off the floor. So all this quad work will translate into fixing that. And then I don't, my glutes don't have to work as hard on the lockout when I do that. So as far as even my sticking point goes, it, it adjusts it a little bit. So it'll, it'll all carry over. Everything has to flow together, right? No one piece is in a vacuum. But, you know, overall pretty happy with all this. Um, so I hope it has been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.